fellow. Mm. Fellow mm. people who are following each other. And, uh, and leading by example. Mm. So yeah, the funny thing, like I wanted to call a gathering to see who these other Freeman people are because mm. <coughs> like I'm deeply embedded in the research with my physical incarnation. Mm. They've got their hooks mm. on my paperwork. They did have their hooks inside of my aura. Mm. Probably took me two years to get the hooks out of my aura. Mm. But they've had their hooks in my aura since we were about 17, I think. 15, I don't know. Never the first time that I got mm. called into question by cops on the street as a teenager for tying me in a castle. Mm. Four, fourteen. Mm -hmm. They get their hooks into your psychology, and what I've been working on is how to get those hooks out of the psychology. Mm -hmm. And in its true essence, that's what the Christian story is about. Mm -hmm. Never mind any dogma, I'm not talking yeah, about yeah, yeah. people here. Sure. 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 There can be constructed an ideal. Mm. sensible version of a Christian story that does make sense. And mm. that can be done. I think I should do it because there doesn't seem to be one around. Mm. That's been my attitude to the whole Christian thing. I really mm. enjoyed saying the word Christ over all these years because it was a crazy reaction. Mm. You need to just find out so much about their background and their core belief system mm. that you need to be baked into that. Mm. They're just using very strong words. Mm. Being a vortex spinning around and not really knowing how it was having so much effect. Mm. I can learn then when it's having not many ill effects and I learn how does your vortex work. Mm. This is years down the line further to go. Okay, I'm willing to try again to see what happens if I do this vortex dance again publicly. Mm. Like, will it gather lots of friends? Mm. Or will it just gather that? <coughs> So it's called that heaven at all is a strange thing. Yeah. Mm. What, what I'm looking for is a really strange thing. Mm. So I just want to know. Who's going to come? Mm. Which could have easily been five or ten people, like close by work, five. Mm. But instead it was just done by chance, it was just done by ease, it was just done through Facebook. And because Danny's been saying and touching me on making me up a lot, it just has to be. It up on the channel because he's not more pleasant to do because we had it in the local newspaper, kind of, but it's quite specific to the three my people. Mm. So, again, that's why I bothered to ask how did everyone get here? But my interest in asking that was about how much fear everyone had to overcome mm. to get here. So, I went up to that thing in Birkenhead and I had to um, overcome a lot of fear inside of myself. I like, lost the fucking door. Mm -hmm. to set up five bad guys that just sent it up to find out who might come. Yeah. But I didn't know what it was, what it might be to go to the lips, there's a place to stay the night before, it was all grand. And uh, Larry Jackman, right beside us as we were driving up the motorway, mm -hmm. about half an hour in the morning or something, and blocked the whole road and was one of the only people who was go ahead of that. There's a lot of mad stuff in my psychological journey to get there. Mm. And it turned out to be something that we've been making, something I had dreamed of for a few years. <laughs> so, therefore, I wonder, under my understanding, can you guys must have all dreamed of a meeting like that? Yeah. Even if only pared down by not wanting to go to another meeting like I've been to before. Not another anarchist thing where nobody will drink proper tea because proper tea is a test. So that's actually the context I mean when I asked you what yeah. was the psychological journey you had to go through to get to no, I 
For me, I had to move the boat into this area. Mm. Be able to plant my aura down in this area. Mm. Be able to avoid being programmed by the state hospital stuff to do with the lady's birth mm. of our baby. Yeah. And come around to this very flat instead. And in a conversation with Toby, have him prompt me to have to come up with something that is a next step. Mm. And to me, just go, right, well, that's a fucking gathering now. Let's do it. I've been thinking about it for ages. Yeah. Think about it for a couple of years. Yeah. But it got to the point where I thought, man, if there is a oh, free man yeah. group, mm. then I'd like to meet them. But so far, there just hasn't seemed to be one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I do hear that there is one down in South yeah. London? Oh, yeah. <laughs> group and that they meet up and stuff. So I didn't know that before. Yeah. But loads of them are at the meeting kind of. Yeah. And one of them has mm. got in touch to say that they are a kind of. I agree. To invite us to go to the Rock meeting. Roughly, I ain't agree. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a gathering on the 7th that's why today is spent here working in an office with telecommunication systems so that anyone who is interested in this level of debt can come and play with us if they want mm. where is this coming? the Victoria in Dalston Lane the place where you're going to do your this, this is it. This is the second variable. Okay. Same thing we did last time, but with witnesses this time. <laughs> <laughs> same, the, the same process that we applied This here last today, time. and what you've come to by chance, because you've, yeah. you've written yourself into the script by texting and mm. calling and being guided to the door and all things. And again, a psychological journey of some sort. Yeah. Not usually such a big deal when you're just going around the normal route of every day. Psychological journeys are pretty boring. You get to someone that's pretty boring and you do things that are pretty boring. What the gig is, like the last gathering, like any of the gatherings that I've put on, who's going to come to it? How are they going to get there? Mm. We don't make the normal doors wide open. Mm. Is there a charge? Does it cost money? No, it's free. It's free. Mm. That's a big blockage to a lot of people. They won't come to free things because they must be rubbish. Right. It's true. Mm. A lot of people won't come to yeah. it. Vice versa, a lot of people won't come to something mm. no matter what the price is. Mm. But at it, hopefully I'll be there. Mm. Hopefully Toby will be there. Mm. Hopefully other people will be there. Mm. Hopefully there will be no defined line between an audience and a stage and a performer. Mm. Hopefully there will be nobody explaining to everyone what their person is. There'll be like a work out for yourself and it's about, hey, yeah, and everyone exactly. just yeah. is, you know. Everyone just is. Yeah. It sounds isn't. extremely, extremely undefined. Yeah, but really specifically so, so that it's <laughs> not just a void. This is, this, is, this, is a, <laughs> this is a vortex. Yeah. This is specifically, this is very specific what we're doing in yeah. creating this pre vortex here today. Yeah. But this is what we do here today, is create yeah. this pre vortex. Yeah. And what's being put, what, what, whatever happens in this vortex, mm. is going to be the starting point, and actually a whole gestation through whatever the night will be. Mm. We call it a closed time-like loop. Mm. Okay, so you you set a trap, you visit yourself in the future. Yeah. You make agreements with yourself in the future with the benefit of your future selves. Mm. Hindsight. Mm. Okay, I'll see you there. Simple as that, as a, as a narrative. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Which is very like taking strong medicine, shamanic, poisonous drugs. Mm. It's the same psychological journey you have to overtake mm. in order to put the stuff into your system. Mm. There's generally always this, you know, with DMT or something like that, there's a definite tremor of, do I really want to do this? Mm. Just before you actually put it to your lips. Mm. It's the same with childbirth. Mm. It really is, it's mm. What we're working on is creating vortexes in time, yeah. which are birthed, uh, giving birth to concepts which are illegal concepts in this society. Okay. They're mad concepts. They're insane concepts, what me and Toby are working on. Yeah. 
just insane concepts is nobody getting hurt. There's nothing being damaged. There's yeah. no material, anything out of order at all. It's just the very lack of normality mm. in a society that depends upon normality. Mm. And instead of creating a void, like some sort of spot, you know, where everyone's just fucked and there is no yeah. Yeah. vibe. Yeah. What we have is a very delicately created vibe mm. in a vortex. Yeah. Yeah. But absolutely guaranteed and yeah. simply done, very simply done, that was how we did the land the run thing together. It was pretty much me to do it all on my own. Yeah. In terms of organising and stuff. But it sounds like this next one's going to be a bit more trippy. <laughs> is, that, is that accurate? <laughs> The next one has no definition as being a <laughs> call out to free man people to come and talk, concentrate. Right. The Time Travelers Guild presents, yeah. <laughs> and ev every what it presents is a yeah. different thing right. on every yeah. flyer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, only, the only thing to say is that like I didn't describe very much what that Land of London gathering would be. I yeah. tried my best to mm. give a, a background shape yeah. and say it's this old mm. and it's got this very immediate mm. intent mm. about bringing about peace as soon as possible. Mm. Apart from that, I said that... Is it because we, that you or we can't articulate specific goals or is it because No, I can. Shouldn't? I very much can. So, but you don't want to, in a sense? I wanted to have a gathering just to invite people and if yeah, you say yeah. it's going to be this, yeah. then what people think about this is going to stop them coming. Mm. So I had to not give her this and yet yeah. still give her whatever it was that attracted you. Mm. For leaving a space. In music it would be having quite a lot of different instruments but not having them all packing at once. Mm. In cards it would be having a fix of the scene. Mm. I mean I've got to let that sink in. It's very vital that you came around today in the sense of what it brings up mm. and puts into recordings here mm. and lets it go out on the internet now so that anyone who does have enough interest to at least subscribe to the thing and watch the videos. Yeah. And I'm very testing with that. I'm after putting up a load of videos today that are kind of brutal to watch yeah. and where the sound quality oh. isn't too quiet. It's yeah. probably quite glaring yeah. and over extorted thing. Yeah. Because the microphone, I've just noted, has been on full maximum yeah, right. inside the computer, oh. whilst also things are playing from the speakers inside the computer. Yeah, so yeah. they should all be just full of too loudness. Yeah. Probably. So it's very testing to get through all the stuff I've up, put up today and come across this one video that seems to be just talking really clearly as yeah. if we're in that meeting again about what we've had enough time to soak from the meeting and wonder, mm. well, if he does do something else, do I want to even go to it because his videos are mad? Mm. <laughs> and Danny freaked out about him, and there probably is. Mm. You know, I've read the comments under Danny's videos, and people very quickly started putting up comments saying, Yeah, there is something dark about mm. dude. Now I can have a laugh about that, mm. and I can also measure it mm. scientifically and go, I don't know, okay, that's interesting. Mm. And look at the few people who quite quickly jumped to my defence mm. after Danny's oh, put chilled out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, it's pure vanity to even look at any of it apart yeah, yeah. from it is progressing communication. Mm. And I'm using my computer science. I've been accused of neuro-linguistic neuro programming out there in some oh, classes too. <laughs> Friends are commonly known as yeah. dumbs. But, um, because of one of Danny's videos, maybe they're wondering if Danny does that, I don't know. Danny probably he fucking does. Came, came Danny probably does. Yeah. No, he does, for sure. He does. It's the inversion as well. All I know is an astrologer once told me that I'd be very good at neurolinguistic programming, <laughs> that I have a natural art with it, and that if I was to get into it, there's loads of money in it, but I'll never yeah, run yeah. it However, you know I'm dead cute with birds. Mm. <laughs> no, I hear you, and it's all in the power of the words. 